Hey, welcome back to another episode of the 900, my Battletech Flashpoint series. Um, today we are still sitting at um, Herotitis, and I think what we're probably going to do is finish up the last two half skull contracts here before we move. I'm going to try to do them both in this episode if I can. Uh, There's an ambush convoy and a uh, defend base mission. We might be able to get them done, I'm not 100% sure, but we're going to attempt to do that today. And then we're going to jump planet to a one and a half skull planet if we can. So let's go to contracts. And I've had a look at them already. We're going to have a do a go at interdiction first and take on an ambush convoy mission just to see um, uh, if we can knock this off super fast. And if we can, then we're going to go right into the defend base one. So let's do this real quick. And we're only going to go, I think, with one of five salvage. I think I want the money more than anything. Uh, maybe we go, what's the difference here? 136. Yeah, because if we, even if we just, hmm, let's go two of eight. I don't want to go full salvage. I'm not really getting that much from this stuff, so let's accept this and deploy and get this done. All right, here we go. Four max on the ground. So we got to move up and get eyes on the content on the uh, targets here, and extract at the designated location. Okay, over here. Okay, and it looks like they're coming straight at us. So this is the jungle ambush convoy map, or one of them anyway. Um, yeah, which way are they coming from? Down here, or from over here? I'm not sure. So, um, we're just going to move straight up. Uh, let's get the Vindicator in the trees. Let's get our missile boat there. And we're going to move our other two Panthers up closer. See if we can see anything. Okay, here vehicle's moving. I think they're coming from this way. But I wonder if they've got reinforcements. Well, we'll find out soon enough. All right, let's do the same thing. Um, we're going to sprint up to here and here. Moving out. And we're going to stay in the trees. Our target is within sensor range. Oh, stop. I see that. Thank you. Those birds are getting the hell out of there. All right. Yeah, I'm wondering, see, I'm going to reserve, see what they do here. Standing by. Makes me wonder if they're, I'm still going to reserve here. I'm going to reserve again. Okay, so we got a vehicle coming up. Unknown if this is part of the convoy or one of its defenders. My guess is convoy. So I want to hit these guys hard. Let's do. How far can we go through the trees this way? Not that much farther. Oh, we can get over here though. I want to move away from these guys down here right now. What do we got here? We got a pair of strikers. Uh, respectable armor, LRM, SRM. Same with this guy. So let's fire on the lead vehicle. Given them everything I've got. Unlike Fury, we're going to do this the correct, way, the correct way. If anyone's ever watched the movie Fury, when they fought the tiger. Awaiting orders. There's no way he would have shot for the vehicle at the end of the row first. Anyways, we're going to jump forward again, staying in the trees. Going to fire on this guy. Firing everything. Roger that. Okay. And we got Possum now. Who's not going to be playing Possum, but he's just going to walk forward here. And we're going to unload straight on this guy. Okay, first one's down. Then we're moving up with the Vindicator. Now he's the guy I want them to target, so 
I'm not going to sprint. We're just going to move to here. And we're just going to fire the PPC straight on this guy. Juicy. Nice. Okay. Let's see what they do here. So another mech. I guess they were moving at the mechs that were guarding this convoy. We're moving along the flank. Kind of a really bad place to be. Ah, wow. Really? Already in the head? Uh, really? Really? Let's move here so we're, these guys can't really see her. Gonna fire on the side of this guy. That should probably do it. There we go. Two up, two down. Now let's see what the rest of these guys do here. So we got a Jenner D. Got weird things going on with the sound right now. Yeah, he's got no armor. Sitting duck. Alright, uh, possum. I'm not going to wait for those vehicles to move forward. We are going to engage this mech. I want to see if I can kill this guy so that I can just focus on the vehicles at the moment. Yeah, really weird stuff going on with the audio. I'm not sure if it's going to turn out this way in the uh, recording, but uh, find out soon enough. Alright, let's jump over to here. I'm going to stay in the trees. It's going to fire straight in the Jenner again. Yeah, spreading the damage too much. He was in front. Reporting critical hit. Yeah, I can see the smoke coming off him. Alright, 900 for Jesus. Those two vehicles back there are probably heavy vehicles, so we're going to move over here. Uh, I don't know how far they're going to make it forward, or if they're going to see us or not, but uh, we definitely want to kill this guy. Engaging At least we're stripping his, arm, or his uh, weapons off. There goes his leg. So this should be two pilot injures, injuries. It's going down. I like them apples. Alright, so we just need one guy to finish him up next turn. Comes the first vehicle. Galleon. I, I don't even know what he's shooting at. Even though it didn't even come close, I still got minus one evasion. Wow. Thanks for that. Alright, um, ow. Standing by. Let's get you. That's a pretty low chance to hit. Um, we want to move. That's way better. We're going to move up here. Going to shoot on the Jenner. And we're going to try for the other torso. How much has it got left here? 35. I'm going to fire everything. Ah, well. Smoked one. Yeah, well, at least he's gone. Alright. What do we got else? What else do we got here? Yeah, the sound's going really bad here. I don't know if it's just this map or what it is. I'm going to uh, reload after this match and see what happens, but uh, at the moment, we'll have to deal with it. So the Galleon... Very low armor. So let's get Rhea moving again. Uh, let's just jump over here. Firing, jump jet. Firing everything on the front of this guy. That should do it. Ooh, just about. What can I do for you? Let's just walk up here, staying right in the trees. Firing on this guy. That's it for him. Wow, they just, these guys just walked into a kill zone. Just walking into a kill zone here. It's like the Spartans. This is the hot gates. Funnel them into one spot and then just kill them all. Alright. Um, okay. There we go. Can't sprint and fire, but I can certainly jump that far and fire. 
I find it weird that you can't actually sprint and fire. But you can jump a ridiculously huge distance and land and still be able to fire. I, I, I don't even... Try, try doing the long jump sometime and then turn and hitting somebody with a nerf gun and then try running and hitting somebody with a nerf gun. It, I mean, anyway. I'll just leave it at that. Alright, let's step forward, fight this guy. So it's a scorpion, AC5, not much armor left in the front, firing everything. That's it for him. Dad, yeah, don't worry about it. We still got a little punk down here we need to take care of. All right, Rhea, you're taking a headshot already, so let's move back here. And we're going to sensor lock this guy. And we got a locust, that's what I figured. With no armor, wow. Uh, we can't get any direct fire on this guy. Um, well, let's just move here. I read you, Commander. Moving out. Drop some LRMs on his head. Roger that. Firing on target. Yeah, it sounds so weird. Boot, 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 boot. I don't know if it's the sound files or what it is. Um, can we jump and see this guy? Nope, why would we be able to? But let's sprint it down to here. Did I just pick up another chevron? I think it's just this guy. Okay, we got eyes on the target. Um, I don't see anybody else. Yeah, I guess for a half skull, that's probably uh, pretty pretty darn accurate. Um, here we go. Let's walk over here. Probably possum blast this guy. Boom. Bang, you're dead. Alright, we've got time for one more mission. Let's just blow through this real quick. All right, payment increased by 25%, 120,000. Uh, Capellans are not loving us that very not that much. I was never a really big fan of the Capellans in the original game anyway. Uh, okay, let's see here. We're gonna take, um, what are we gonna take real quick? SRM six, we definitely need an S, let's grab two. Um, and we'll leave it at that, hopefully we get the mech parts. Yep, we did, medium laser. Okay, cool. Let's get right into the next mission here and then we can blow this popsicle stand. Um, if you haven't checked out my um, Rogue Tech campaign, I know it's a weird name called uh, um, Funky Steve's Medinas. The first mission I play, I start only start off with three mechs. It's a heavy and two mediums, uh, but the loadouts aren't that great. And I start off with three mechs, and then my very first half sculpt mission ended up being against ten mechs at once. So that was fun. Anyway, let's go to the command center real quick. Going to go to the contracts. Beefed up security. Let's get this one done as well. Going to stay at 2 of 10. Um, we, well, yeah, let's go 2 of 10. There might be something good in there. I, well, at half skull, though, really. Let's just go this route. Well, you know what? We pick up mech parts. So let's go this route. Compellons are going to hate us after this. All right. Oh, we got an injury. Do we not have enough um, pilots? Let's go to the hiring hall. Not going to wait several days. The one thing I... I um, Let's go to the barracks real quick for a second here. Um, the one thing I noticed about um, about um, yes, my playstyle so far in this is that actually we're going to take this gunnery two for owl. Actually, she's going to be a long range boat too, right? Not really sure yet. So let's do this for now. Let's go this route for now. Uh, sorry, I'm kind of talking talking and trying to play her. Um, possum, I haven't decided yet. Probably going to need bulwark on him if he's going to be a missile boat. But we'll wait and find out soon enough. Um, so as I was saying, I don't want to wait four days to get uh, Shiv back. Uh, and the reason is, is that um, I've been watching a, um, 
another YouTuber called The Edmund, and he's been playing uh, Battletech Flashpoint. And, brought up, and he, he sort of inadvertently brought up a good point to me, and that was um, the longer I wait, obviously, the lower my score is going to be in the end because I'm going to have a lot less days left. So I need to be Commander? maximizing as much as I can my days. And I really haven't been paying attention to that, and I probably should. Independent trader. Jump ship fees can probably can be probably so independent merchants will often lease space aboard share dropship and split the cost of the jump ship passage among them. Um let's ah, traders Awaiting orders. Noble air. Ready. Noble air, fallen noble. Standing by. Noble supernumeracy. Huh, interesting. Comstar Alkalite Technician. Let's grab... There's also Ronin here. But I want to try and stay away from the uh, named mech warriors. Gonna read 8 though. Uh, let's take this one. Let's take Red Flag. And hire her. All right, so let's go do this other contract now that we have enough pilots. So beefed up security, let's get right into this. We're going to go 2 of 10 salvage. As I was saying, we want to go 2 of 10 um, just because... Um, hang on, I meant possums in the right mech. Okay. Um, we might get some mech parts. Command interface initiated. All right, here we go. So... I have not played this map before. Okay, so two spiders and a panther. There's got to be more coming. Uh, I just have to remember, figure out where they're going to be coming from. If not from back here, it doesn't look like. So I'm um, thinking. Okay, that's weird. Usually this is like the ambush convoy map. The convoy goes along here. Uh, huh. Well, I'll keep my eyes out for reinforcements. Could be coming from over here. They may drop a dropship down here. So, I'm glad I brought some long-range mechs. So, let's um, reserve. Sure, all buildings survive. Destroy enemy vanguard. Hold up for reinforcements. Ten turns. I don't think we're going to need ten turns. Reporting. Enemy contact. Yeah, they're not going to be able to see the base just yet. Oh, maybe they will. They're going to be taking an awful lot of punishment very shortly, though. So one of the keys with these defend base missions... Ah, uh, why would they put my long-range guy down here? Um, is to target as many of the enemies as possible. Got it. So let's fire on straight on this guy. Uh, I don't think the chances are any better on this other guy, are they? No, they're both the same. Let's fire on this guy. So engage as many of the enemies as you can when they first arrive. Yeah, see, this sounds back to normal now. What's the more? Huh? Um, so engage as many of the enemies as you can, and that'll force them to shoot for you rather than the buildings. All right, so who's on the ground here? Well, that's the Vindicator down there. All right, so let's move... Yeah, I bet you any money they're going to come from over here. That's why we're standing on the base. Actually, you know what? Now if I flip it around this way... I pulled off a rogue tech mission. This was an attack base and we came from this direction and these turrets were up and running. Yeah, that's why I recognize this. I never recognize... Anyways, sorry, it's just... Standing by. I don't know why I'm talking like that. But anyway, uh, let's jump down here. Oh, I guess maybe they put my jump capable mechs up on top and my non jump capable one. Well, no, because the Vindicator is jump capable too. Firing on the spider, let's keep him looking at us. Yeah, you moonwalk away, buddy. Where are you going? Is it is is it really easier to back up like that? Is it really that much easier? I guess so. Okay, let's bring this other panther down. Commander. 
Uh, I want to try and... Jeez, we can't get very far, can we? Where can we sprint to? Not very far either. So, let's... Just move over here. And we will brace. Um, yeah, I want to make sure we stay here on the right. That panther's going to get a pasting in a second. That's a lot of damage. Oh, that medium building's got a lot of... 400 health, yeah. <laughs> Good luck with that guy. Uh, let's engage... Well, let's just see when we move up what we got here. 70% chances on this guy. He's got torso damage. This guy's got CT damage. This guy doesn't have anything. Let's go up to the CT guy. Ooh, goodbye to your head, buddy. Enemy destroyed. How do you like them apples? That should be the cue for you guys to start running. Pew pew. Okay, let's get... Um, who do we got in the ground here? Red flag. Let's get over here. Too bad you're not called Black Flag, because then it would be like, you know, the name of my favorite punk band. Well, one of my favorite punk bands. Ooh, another head hit. Yeah, you moving in with a PPC like that's not gonna help you. Alright, Owl. Uh, let's get you jumping down now so we can target somebody. Let's get into the trees. Lifting off. Gonna fire on the spider. Not really focus firing these guys just because it's there's no real need to. Um, if they were more threatening, sure, but they're not really, so. And I, I, you know, I say that and then they watch this panther take somebody's head off. Alright, we're gonna fire straight on this guy. I don't think he's like that very much. Alright, so we're going to move forward on this panther. Close the gap so we can't use his PPC, and then we're going to use our PPC on this guy. Goodbye. Thanks for coming out. Yep. Hey, didn't I call it? I called it. Yeah, good luck with that. Okay, so we're going to reserve at this point. I want to see what they're going to do over here. They came in here, I think. So that's probably a locust. Are they targeting the same building the panther targeted? I think so. They got a lot of selection here. Oh, wow. How, how are they going to kill any of these buildings? Oh, that one's only got 200. That's got six. Oh, really? <sighs> All right. So. Let's show this panther why he should have stayed at home. Okay, so he's not a threat anymore. His PPC's gone. Another pilot injury. And let's move... I hear you. Uh, we're going to sprint it. Pedal to the metal. And then... Awaiting order. Owl. And red flag. We're going to move to... Mm, here. On the move. Get some stability back. Fire on this guy. Firing all weapons. Everything hits. Everybody gets a hit. Reporting critical hit. So that panther should go down this next turn. <laughs> really? 
Really? Alright, so... We gotta get some eyes on here. Let's move um, Owl first. Can go farther sprinting. Let's go here. Here we go. So uh, Rhea's gone. She's got our sensor lock, so that's not going to help. Let's just keep sprinting up. This guy's going to get in the trees. Max speed, no shooting. Going to start engaging these guys soon enough. Red flag is going to take off as well. Full speed. We're going to leave the uh, vindicator to that. clean up back here. Then we're going to move forward. Okay, Panther and Locust. It might just be these two guys. In which case, they're going to get burned down real fast, firing on what? Whole new building, because why not? Wow. You're choosing the absolute worst targets. That guy's got... <sighs> they really need to fix the AI. Bad targets. Alright, firing everything on this guy. Bye bye. Pilot incapacitated. Destroyed. It should say pilot kill. I think the pilot should only be incapacitated if he takes his third hit when he falls. If the mech blows up on him, he should be killed. I'm just saying. What can I do for you? Uh, let's move you over here. We're going to engage this panther. Way. Actually, what's our chance to hit on this guy? It's way better on the locust, so we're going to engage the locust. All weapons are go. Yeah, critical hit. So against these lower mechs, I mean, I was kind of thinking that having more weapons are better, but I think if we've got really good chances to hit like the Oh, well, hello there. I'll take, let the Vindicator take these guys on. Um... So, um, I was kind of feeling like originally that the more um, weapons I had on, like the more medium lasers, the better off we would be. But now I'm feeling like you kind of need to have a large laser against these lower level targets just to be able to blast through their armor in one spot. Standing by. I think taking them, taking them down becomes a lot easier if you're able to blow, through, blow holes through them much quicker. Like we just took this guy's torso and everything completely off and now he's CT'd, right? Two max and he's done. One less target. So I think I'm thinking having a second. Um, how far can I sprint here? I think having a second mech. Can't fire. But we can jump and fire. Uh, I think having a second mech with a large and an LRM is going to make a huge difference. So what do we got here? Another Panther, Commando One B with no armor. And a panther with no armor. Uh, he's definitely the da more dangerous target. He's got a large and SRM too as well. So let's, what's the chance to hit here? 70, 80, way more than the panther. So we're going to do a precision strike on the panther. And we're going to aim for this torso. And of course we hit the absolute opposite side. Oh, well, he's got no SRM ammo left. I wanted to get rid of that PPC, but, uh, you know, can't have everything, I guess. You keep firing at that building with 600 hit points. You go right ahead. I'll stand here for the next four, four rounds <laughs> until reinforcements arrive. You just, you just do that. You just do that. All right, red flag. Let's get up here. Going to shoot this guy. Fire everything. Giving him everything I've got. Soften him up a little bit. Alright, 40 damage. Nothing to sneeze at. Gotta be careful. Commander. Oh, well, let's walk it up over here. Get our stability back. Moving to position. And let's unload on this guy. Targeting for an alpha strike. 
want to try and lose that arm if we can. Possum, let's wheel to the right. Let's hope we get the arm. There we go. So there's no threat on this side anymore. Another hit like that, and you're toast. He's already toast. Okay, Panther. You can't run, buddy. Ooh, miss. Nice. Ah, why we move back to this side? I don't know. We should just be centering on the mech that uh, it's turned to go. Um, that commando can't see us. We're just going to walk up here. Let him fire on those buildings again. I don't really care. We're going to fire on this guy. And he's out of weapons now. So he's taken two pilot injuries already. And he is a walking stick, I believe. Yep. -er. Alright. Um, let's go with Owl first. Just get back here. Let's burrow a hole through this guy's side. There we go. He's just taking a little bit of a concrete nap. All right, red flag. Oh, sorry, it's commando. Oh, he's coming down to engage. No, he's coming. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have to laugh because that's probably the most ridiculous move I've ever seen. I'll just come down here and stand in front of you and brace for your attack. Let's see what you can do, buddy. He's like, let's see what you can do. I guess we're out of missile range. We're out of everything range here. Sprint it over as far as we can. Alright, you want to see what I can do? Your buddy's a walking stick. And you're going to park it yourself in front of me like this. Let's do this. Um, yeah, another reason why I don't like jump jets. Overheating. Ah. Well, maybe it wasn't that bad of a move then. Here comes the headbutt. Or a kick. Warning. Armor low. Yeah, I'm not worried about the armor. Alright, um... What can I do for you? Alright, awesome possum. Let's get the LRM on this guy. Well, at least we know they're not going to be firing on the buildings now. Handful of damage. Let's see what he does here. He's fleeing the interview. He's running away. He knows. Well, maybe he's being smart now. All he's doing is letting our other guys get close. That's all he's doing. Yes, Commander. I wonder if you can actually get in the fight before it's over. Here we go. That guy keeps running. Uh, as much as I'd love to play tag with this panther, there's no point. Let's jump down here. How we get stability back by jumping, I have no idea. Uh, let's just fire the PPC. We get that back shot. It's all done for you, buddy. One round left. Oh, come on. We got to kill these guys. This is embarrassing now. This is the last turn. Let's reserve and see where this commando goes. Wow, it looks like our episode from Ice Road Truckers here. This road is so icy. Okay. Now. Who can shoot and who can't? Possum definitely can shoot. I hear you. Just with the LRMs, though. No sweat. Let's see if we can get this Panther. Ah, God, one tiny hit. Ah, we can't do anything with this guy. At least you can move close enough to see him. Yeah, we definitely need another mech with, uh... Aye, aye. 
large laser and um, LRM tens. All right. Look at that heat too. What does this guy got left in the back? Chance of a CT killing this guy is pretty darn low. This guy. Well, if we hit everything in the CT. Not that it matters. Let's just burn through all this stuff. Let's go CT. Uh, fire everything. Well, that's legitimately disappointing. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Yeah. Mission success. They got a couple of walking sticks to defend against. All right, 171,000. That's actually pretty good. Let's see what our salvage is out of this. We got no internal structure damage. Um, not bad. A couple panther parts, a couple spider parts in here. Anything? Oh my god! Look at all the jump jets from the spiders. Wow. Uh, once again, since I can't choose mech parts, let's choose choose a couple. Me well, you know we got tons of medium lasers. That's sixty thousand. How much are these? Eighty thousand. So let's just take the LRM five. Is worth more. Let's confirm. All right, one, two panther parts, which means we have another panther. We got another. We got a spider. Ugh. Well, okay. All right, there's a five V and the nine R. Alright, so let's go to the mech bays. I love the fact that we can move mechs in the mech bays now. It's awesome. So we're going to put the spider in the in the uh, hold. We're going to put another panther in the hold. Alright, so let's refit these guys before we move out of here. Um, we're done. If we go to the contracts here. We're done with all the contracts. We're not going to take Stubborn Surrender. Um, we're going to move straight to a different planet. And I'll show you where we're going in a minute. Uh, let's go to the mech bay. And I think we're going to outfit our second panther here. I mean, the second of these two guys are basically the same mechs. Um, we got to change the patterns on these two. Let's get them all the same. That's pattern two. What's this one? Pattern five. I'm kind of liking pattern two. Sorry, I'm easily distractible here. I'll yeah, let's go. Let's go. Pattern one. It's got the whole uh, um, Black Panther kind of uh, vibe to it. Let's go. Pattern one. Nice. It's too bad we can't do the same thing on this guy. All right, that's fine though. Enough getting off topic. Okay, let's get this Panther refitted here. So we're gonna go the same route we went with the other guy, pulling the jump jets. Leaving the heat sinks. I think we got to pull some heat sinks too. I'll, I'll figure that out in a second. We want to put an LRM 10 in the CT and a large laser. And oh yeah, we want to leave one of the medium lasers in here. So we're way over, and I think it was just heat sinks that we wanted to pull out. Three heat sinks and half a ton of armor. So we can go like, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then like seven, eight, something like that. I think that's probably fine. Actually, let's go one, two, and then go one two because we're not going to get shot in the back all that often I don't think actually since we're not let's do this and keep the front full I'm pretty sure that's how we have the other guy so let's do this and we'll move the heat sinks into the legs uh, just because let's confirm this that's eight days we have a 16 day, day journey ahead of us so we're going to do what we can in 16 days let's refit this guy now I was thinking about going with let's just do this for a second because we're going to be front line I don't I mean the jump jets have come in handy um, so actually you know what let's just leave them for now and I was talking about doing like let's put the small I don't know medium here medium here that's what I was talking about doing and then what's our heat sinking at right now yeah it's not very efficient it would only be efficient if we pulled out all the jump jets and added two more heat sinks. But 
But we wanted to max the armor on this guy too. I mean, we could just go for an all medium laser. Well, we know, I like the idea of having the one large, the one pinpoint damage weapon. And a large is definitely better than the PPC. Um, how many point blank? We got two point blank. So if we lose the large, put a second medium in this side. Heat efficiency's gone up. And let's leave the small in the head. Let's add a ton of armor. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, hmm, 11, 12, 13, 14. Um, yeah, 15, 16. And then let's go to our heat sinks. Actually, put let's put them in the legs. So what have we got heat sinking wise here? That's actually pretty good. So three mediums and a large. We had PPC, a medium, and an SRM four before. So that was 50, 75, and 32 is 107 damage. So this. We're not going to leave the small, not going to include the small lasers. So this is 75 and 40, 115 damage. The SRM was splash, but now we have all pinpoint. Thinking maybe this is the way to go. Keep the jump jets for maneuverability to jump behind opponents. But for now, I think this will be the way to go. Uh, I was liking the PPC, but the heat right now is, is really bothering me. So I'll leave that like that but the plus 40 damage weapon is I think is a necessity so let's go this route it's 13 days so that's going to be 23 days of repair time so maybe we do this in stages then let's go let's put this back the way it was we're going to do this in stages let's pull off the PPC first and go with a large and a medium and add the ton of armor. And that might just put us in the right ballpark. What about we move the medium here too? And the small here. That's eight days. So let's leave that for now. We want to do this. Kind of get it to where we had it before. Right, had more on here, right? Why does it seem off? Did I retain the 45 in the back? Probably did. Let's make the legs 90 though. Actually, no, let's make sure the back is 45. In the CT back. So that's five days. Let's drop heat sinks into the legs six days that's eight days nine days so let's leave it like this eight days confirm right. so it's two okay. mechs in progress 16 days and we are going to be traveling for 16 days so let's go to the uh, navigation real quick we'll shift star systems and then next episode we're going to go right here Mandalus 16 days one and a half skull planet. Let's travel. 30 grand. I would have thought that that... Huh. Roger that, Commander. I would have thought that the pilot that we picked up um, would have taken some time or some cash off that, but I guess not. So we'll go through a financial report. We've got lots of cash. We're not worried about that. I've got the financial report. Thank you. And we're at a point now, I think we've got enough mechs to run a second lance. So we're going to have to get that second bay up and running. Why are we backing in? Because we can. So we might start running a second lance. It might be a little early to do that, I think. But it depends on what kind of contracts we're running up against. It would be nice to have two lances running. 
Uh, let's ask the doctor. Let's ask Doctor Morale to try and fix it. Morale decreased by two. Okay, that's fine. Not such a big deal. All right, Max done, and now we are at the planet. Excellent. So let's have a look at the store real quick. Thank you. Just in time to get up some to some uh, mischief. And there's nothing that we want. Except where we can get three blackjack parts if we want. Again. Do we really want three blackjack parts? No. So uh, let's take a look at the contracts real quick before we end the episode. I'm interested to see what kind of things we've got going on here. It would have been nice to have more contracts available per planet. but So there's three half skull missions. So that's good. We can do those, I think. We got a raiding party, so battle in the lowlands, last mech standing, battle in the lowlands, and another battle in the badlands. Excellent. Uh, these guys are engaged against two Capellans. They are going to hate us, man. These guys just don't like us right now, and they are going to absolutely hate us. There's not much we can do about that right now, though. So this is versus local government. This is versus Capellan again. So two versus Capellan and one versus the local government. But, you know, we got to do them. So anyway, we're going to end the episode here. So that's it for this episode of the 900, my Battletech Flashpoint series. If you like it, please drop a like. Uh, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you haven't checked out my Rogue Tech series that I'm going to be running congruently with this one called Cold Forge, there's going to be a um, little link up here that you can click on and go and check that out. Um, I'm going to be trying to run that congruently with um, the uh, Battletech Flashpoint series. So I'm actually running two of these episodes a day until I get caught up, and then I want to run them side by side um, just so that there are the same number of missions per um, video just so you can see the progression in each. Uh, so that's kind of my goal. Um, yeah, so uh, until next time, I'll see you all later.